left HCF of 1318 and 125. 1318 and 125. I don't think this is divisible by this, but I'm gonna, because the numbers are big, I'm just gonna do it. So 1318 divided by 125 goes once, 125, six will remain and I have 68. And that's it. 68 is my remainder. Uh, of course, uh, I, I just realized that this shouldn't go once, right? That doesn't make sense. Wait a minute. So I have six here uh, and 68. Oh yeah, it goes zero times. Yeah, so um, then I get my remainder to be 68. Whenever I use this long division method, I, I tend to like miss some steps here. So 68 is my remainder. So clearly this is not divisible. So 125 is not my HCF. But then I can find now the HCF of the smaller number and the remainder when I divide the bigger number by the smaller number, which is 68. So 68. Now I have to do this again because it doesn't look like 125 is divisible by 68. For sure it's not. So uh, let's do this again. Find the HCF. To find the HCF of these two numbers, I'm going to take the smaller number and the remainder when I divide 125 by 68. It looks like 68 will just go once because 68 into 2 is going to be 120, 136. So that's that's not going to work. So I'm just going to subtract 125, uh, 68 from 125. 125 minus 68. And that's going to be, let's see, uh, this is 7 over here and then it's 4. Oh, 11 minus 6 is 5. So 57. So I have 57. You may be asking, okay, I'm finding more and more HCFs, but you can notice the numbers are becoming smaller. So 68 and 57, these two are pretty close. And definitely one is not divisible by the other. So you jump to the next step. So you say, okay, the HCF of these two numbers will be the same as the smaller number. The HCF of the smaller number. And the remainder, in this case, the remainder is going to be direct. We don't have to do any subtraction. So it's 57 plus 10 is 67 plus 1 is 68. So 11. So which color do I use? Maybe this one. So 11. So 57 and 11. Find the HCF of these two numbers. Then you say, okay, 11 fives are 55. So it's not divisible by 57. Or rather, sorry, 57 is not divisible by 11. So HCF of... Uh, 57 and 11 will be the same as the smaller number and the remainder. And what's the remainder here? 11 will go 5 times till 55 and then there will be 2 remaining. So let's use blue. 11 and 2. Oh my god. Okay. Did you just realize what happened? So you have to find the HCF of 11 and 2. And notice that once again 11 is not a multiple of 2. So HCF is not 2 but the smaller number which is 2 in this case. And the remainder that you get when you divide 11 by 2, which is going to be 2 goes 5 times in 10 and then there's a remainder of 1. Now why I said, oh my god, was because I just noticed that we finally arrived at a case where the highest common factor is just 1. Because now you'll ask, is 2 divisible by 1? Yes, it is. Any number is divisible by 1. So the HCF is actually 1. For these two big numbers, these two big numbers have no factor in common other than 1. So the HCF of both these big numbers is 1. Uh, I think the chances that I picked two numbers like this is pretty low. Okay, maybe I know why I did that. I picked 125. That's maybe not a great choice. 125 is 5 cubed. So this is only 5 as its factor, prime factors. And this doesn't look, it does not have 5 in it. So clearly we could have seen these two numbers and known that uh, our answer is going to be 1. And such numbers have a very uh, famous name. When two numbers have one as their highest common factor, they are called co-prime numbers. That is not essential to this video, but I said it anyway. 